Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir was in Muhlenberg County this afternoon getting a first-hand look at the storm damage there. Many people there with property damage spent the day clearing debris. Eyewitness News Sydney Davis continues our team coverage tonight. Governor Bashir says everyone deserves to have others show up for them. And that's exactly how neighbors and emergency agencies spent their Monday following last night's storms. I just figured a couple of them trees over there popped, and uh, that's what we heard. Governor Andy Bashir made it his mission to comfort those hit hard by the storms. The governor made personal visits to Muhlenberg County homes and says he's proud of local agencies' efforts. I wish that we hadn't had so much practice to get better, but what it's going to mean is people are going to have their power up faster, the roads are cleared faster, water is already up in most every place. Um, it means we respond better than we ever have. Roy Day lost the only home he's ever known in the storm. Governor Bashir offered Day a listening ear and resources. The weather's frightening in there when the roof blew off. I'm sitting there and it's inside the house and it's raining on me and the ceiling's falling in. Yeah. Believe it or not, this used to be a garage. Charles Brown says this is the worst property damage he's seen in two decades. When the uh, straight line winds came in, that's when we had problems because you know, the trees in my yard were bending over, and I knew we was going to have some issues. And then I got a call for out here, and my neighbor, his building was destroyed. Mayor Paul Whitmer says the structure used to be behind their home. He and his wife were watching the news. Five minutes later, they heard the distinct sound of a train, usually associated with tornadoes. They walked out to pieces of the garage on top of their truck and their belongings exposed. You know, we're still waiting on the good hands of all state to uh, answer his phones or his email. Officials say the majority of the county is still without power, but they're grateful that everyone is safe. Back to you, Brandon.